Rafael, hello. Delmi, hello. Hello. Good evening. Max, hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Max. Letting know that we can hear Raf, but it's a little bit choppy. But we can hear you. We can hear you, Raf. We can hear you. Waiting a few moments. A few moments. Waiting a few minutes. Sorry about that. We're going to give the class maybe three, three minutes. Yeah, three minutes to get here. In the meantime, how's everybody going? How was your Valentine's Day? Valentine's Sunday. For me, it was a normal day, teacher. Normal day, Max? Yeah. You know, I, I think so. I, I had to do a little bit of shopping. I had to do supermercado. And the only thing I noticed, Max, was that there was maybe more people in the mall, like in parejas, than oh. usual. I think that was the only different. I mean, it's always, I, I go to Metro Centro, and it's always really crowded. But this time I noticed that there were like couples. There was a lot of couples walking around. So maybe it was like, the way you want to caminar, you know, let's go walk. You know, it wasn't about the restaurant or getting a gift. It was more about the walk. Vamos a caminar. Maybe. Hello, Vanessa. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Tell me, how was your, how was your Valentine's? How did it go? It was good. I was at home. <laughs> I okay. didn't go out. Yes. I went oh. to sleep in almost all the time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's better. It's better. <laughs> I don't like <laughs> quetting in that. It's... All right. All right. All right. Got it. Hello, Jose. Mi amigo Gonzalo. Ah, that's between us. That's between us, Jose. Vanessa, how was your how was your Valentine's? Mm, soldado, I don't have soldado caído or soldado victorioso? Uh, ninguno. Ninguno, neutral. He was just solo estaba con la con la cosita esa como with the bugle, right? I don't have one. So all right, all right. I stay in my house. Okay. Nice. A, a normal day. <laughs> That's a completely, completely understand. How about Jose? Jose, how was your Valentine's? Okay. Gonna wait, Jose. I know. I know. Jose is answering. He has like a whole speech about what happened. I know <laughs> it. I know it. And in that case, if you want to say soldado caído, you have to say man down. Man down, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Man down. So what if what if it's what if it's the other one? What is victorious? Si so soldado victorioso, como es? No, I don't know. No, es que soldado caído, right? And then what? But what if? But if it's if it's a success, dicen algo también. Yeah. Dicen soldado, no sé qué. I can't remember right now. There's one, well, uh, let's talk about memes for Valentine's. Do you guys like memes? And remember, the, the, you, have to, you have to pronounce it like that. In Spanish is meme, but in English is meme. 
so there there's a there's a there's one meme going around i don't know if you guys have seen it where there's a picture of a guy saying soldado victorioso and they're walking into a place and it's a guy and a girl they're walking into the place and then in the bottom portion of the same meme it's like the husband saying how could you do this to me and somebody asks him hey that girl looks like you're you know like the same girl that that you're putting in the picture and he says yeah that's that's my wife and he answers like in the like the like like the whole conversation and then everybody starts telling him oh my god we're so sorry man that's that's really messed up have you guys seen that one no that it's really messed up man that one's really messed up you guys haven't seen that i'm gonna share it with you guys por verdad because it's um it's algo que se tiene que, que, que estudiar because it's it's material that we absolutely need and that's why i'm going to share it where did that happen uh, i started seeing it i would say maybe yesterday yesterday i started seeing a lot of the meme coming out and so yesterday was it was valentine's day so it came out right for valentine's so they had it for Valentine's. And then there's the guy that was crying at Pollo Campero. Have you seen that one? Soldado Caído. One. Soldado so Caído. Bad. And he's like, he's really crying, man. And I'm like, oh, oh man. And then there's another that one. That was true, teacher. It was true? Well, I, I don't know. He looked like he was really crying. Josue, hello. Hay otro que dice, there's, there's a trash can. And there's a, hay un ramo de rosas. Y hay una pizza, como que alguien llevaba pizza y rosas, and I guess, soldado caído, and then so they threw the stuff away. Y, y en las letritas dice, eh, Diosito, me has visto a los ojos y me has sonreído. Have you guys, have you guys seen that one? <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, can you just imagine, you're like, oh, my God, I need to get roses for my girlfriend, but I'm broke. And then you're walking around, and then there's a garbage can with roses. It's perfect. Hello, George. How you doing, Jorge? Hello, teacher. Hello. Everybody. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Daniela. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I I saw briefly. I saw I saw Anita Anna. If if you do come back, Anna. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Bye. Wow. All right. Uh, well, we were asking our, our our classmates how did their Valentines go. I don't want you guys to leave here without us finding out. <laughs> um, so, Josue, Josue, how was your Valentine's, my friend? It was really interesting. I went to the Cuatepeco Lake with my girlfriend, and we spent a good time. And we ate uh, chicken and beef with some beers. And nice. We appreciate yeah. all the the land, the weather, and that's really exciting. Visiting the Pickle Lake, it's a really beautiful place, and we we had a good moment. Nice, nice, was right. Nice to hear, man. Good. So that is, es un soldado victorio, oh, hombre. Soldado en victoria aquí. All right. Jorge, how was your Valentine's Day if if you guys did anything? Hey, teacher, my Valentine's Day is, was wonderful because I spent a lot of time with my wife. Nice. Yeah, uh, and my daughter too, because uh, on Sunday uh, I went to the. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I don't remember the place. Uh, it's near to Multiplaza. La Gran Vía, maybe. La maybe. Gran Vía, Multiplaza. Okay, okay. okay, thank you. And I went to my wife to uh, eat uh, something around this place. And after, after that, I heard her. Nice. In, in the house, in uh, drinking some coffee with with uh, a sweet bread. With sweet bread. Gotta love the sweet bread. Gotta do it. 
Y, y Vanessa, el café a la medianoche, va. Si no me tomo mi café, no duermo, no puedo dormir. All right, got it, got it. All right, Daniela, Daniela. Hello, Daniela. Hello, teacher. How was your Valentine's, miss? Um, I think it's fine. I stay in home because I am single and my friends, <laughs> and my friends work. So I think we will celebrate another day. Nice. Well, I have a friend who is single and every Valentine's Day, she celebrates that she's single. So <laughs> she's like an anti-Valentine's Day. And, and so it's growing. Like, with, like the first year she did it, everybody was like, oh, cut it out. But now she took a picture. She, uh, I, I hopefully I can I can show you guys the picture. She took a picture. It's like 15 people celebrating with her. I was like, oh my god, that's a lot. It's that's like a, lot. a single party. Yeah, it was like a single party on Valentine's. Well, you know, <laughs> hey, you have to celebrate. All right, Daniel, thank you that so much. That's a good idea, teacher. Right, right. Celebrate. Hey, why not? You know, if everybody else is celebrating, bah humbug, huh? Quebramos una piñata y todo. I like that. I like that. Hello, Madeline. Hello, Marisela. Welcome, welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, How was Good your, your Good Valentine's Day, teacher? How oh, was? Wait a minute, Madeline. Wait a minute. I'm asking the questions right now. And my question oh. is actually to you, Madeline. How was your oh. Valentine's? <laughs> okay. Uh, this is for me, the question. The question is for you. I threw it right back at you. Uh, yes, I was very happy. I I was uh, sending messages to, to my friends and I received many, many messages uh, till, uh, and wow. they told oh, me. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute, Madeline. I didn't receive a message. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher. I I thought no, it's bad because the the her este his uh, hasta, wife, hasta la uh, hasta la cámara pagué hasta la cámara pagué Madeline. Oh no, teacher. I thought his his wife uh and um, doesn't doesn't. Mm, doesn't like it. <laughs> I, I could completely understand. No worries. No worry, Madeline. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. Well, I'm happy that you had a nice uh, Valentine's. Maricela, how was your Valentine's? It's a normal day for me, Valentine. Nor normal day. Okay. Yes. We'll accept that for as well. Me, all days. All days are Valentine's Day. Valentine's oh, Day. nice. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We'll see. It's a normal day. Como es, Maricela, como es, ah, todos los días me levanto, hay chocolates, hay flores acá, hay una botella de vino allá. All right, all right. We could do that. No. Nice. My husband is not a... Uh romantic person <laughs> but it's but it's always en mi, como es, en mi corazón it's always valentine always always i That's like true. that i like that thank you so much maricela luis luis enrique hello ta -ta -ta. teacher how are you doing sir good evening soldado good evening. Ca soldado caído <laughs> o soldado victorioso luis no nah, victories oh, victorious victorious <laughs> Yes, you gotta do it. You gotta do it, sir. So, how how was your Valentine, sir? It was uh, very good, and I had fun. A lot of nice. a lot of uh, because I celebrate on Saturday oh. with my with my girlfriend and also some some friends that I, that we have in common. Okay. Well, yeah. That that you beat you beat the rush because Sunday yes. was a little bit crazy, man. Everywhere. Yes. Today I I was uh, relaxing. Nice. Um, uh, watching moving, watching watching movies and a lot of stuff in in, in my house. All right. Well, that's that's good to hear. That's good to hear. This way to go. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for sharing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is February 15th.
which means that we only have a couple of days left. How are you guys doing with the platform? How is everything going with the platform? Remember that we have to the 18th. So February 18th is our last day. If you guys are kind of stuck, please let us know on the WhatsApp and we can help you out. Uh, we can go section by section, section one, two, three. We should be in section four and section four, we could take, well, it should take you one to two days and then section five, another two days so that by Thursday, you should be completed. If you are moving ahead a little bit faster, you could have section four and five completed and then maybe the final exam, which is a little bit longer than the midterm. However, uh, it's not that much longer. So, ojo con eso though. It is, it does feel a little bit longer. So we have the final exam on section five and that should be completed either by Wednesday or Thursday, depending on how fast you guys are moving. Okay. So far, have you encountered any problems in the platform. Sure, the exercise 3.11, I don't know if it's fixed now. No, it's still not. Because I understand that if you don't finish every exercise, you don't get the certificate. That, well, no, no, you have to reach 80% which means that if you miss one of these, you're still, you're still good for the certificate. However, remember that this would not be your, your, your problem. This is something that we already told IT and the admins. So this should not affect you for your certificate. If it does, please let me know, let us know so that we can fix it right away. It's, it's, still, it's still broken down. I have uh, 87% as a total, and I don't have the certificate. It didn't pop up yet? Let me see. Let me check. Mm -hmm. I'm over 92%. No. And you guys don't see it yet? No. Oh, me too, okay. teacher. I have 88% and the certificate doesn't appear. It doesn't show. Okay. We can bring that up because as soon as you hit 80 percent you should have the option to get your certificate so ojo con eso porque it could be that they're probably waiting for the date okay oh so it could be it could be but in the last classes that i've had as soon as you get to 81 percent the certificate becomes available and you are able to get it. So let me go ahead and I can uh, I can escalate that tonight and hopefully we okay. have an answer for you guys tomorrow. Um, okay. Remember that there's a couple of ways that you guys can get it. Uh, through the WhatsApp, you guys can request it. Uh, you also can send an email and of course, right through the platform. But if the platform is not going, then that means that we need to use either the email or the WhatsApp. So we can, you know, we can keep those options open as well. Don't worry, don't worry. We're gonna get your certificate. We are getting a certificate. All right, okay. So besides that, how's everybody with the platforms? Everybody, everybody moving, moving along? All right, well, that's really good to hear. So now we started off on section number four. And this is just for you guys to have an idea if you guys have not gotten there yet. If you guys already passed it, just hang tight. The information that you guys see starts off with the videos, right? Remember, you have to watch the videos fully for you guys to get credit for it. The lesson objectives are really short and usually the videos are about two to maybe four minutes long, which is the most. Now. In section four, what you guys will see is a lot of people having conversations. Do you guys do you guys know why you guys are seeing those videos like that? What do you guys think we're trying to do? What would be the focus of the module? Or what has been our focus? 
Listening skills. Listening skills. Conversation has a lot to do with listening, right? You can have a conversation with somebody if you're not really listening to what they're saying. So there's a few questions that we go in, or actually when you guys start looking at the videos, there's a few things that you notice while you guys see these conversations, right? Usually what happens is there's a conversation that's going and there are questions in between. And on the last videos, what you guys are noticing is that they start to explain what is all the definitions of what these conversations that are going on. So I really recommend for you guys to stop and listen to the videos because they do explain a few things that we use very commonly, but not everybody stops and talks about it, right? So defining and non-defining relative clauses. Uh, I, I, the next one was the passive to describe a process. And so all of these have to do with the videos that you guys see throughout the module. So it's also very important. What we are going to work on today let me go ahead and stop sharing. Is we're going to be going, we're going to keep going with the flow. We are going to continue. We are going to continue our conversation practice. Okay. Now, we are going to start it off with a very, very basic question. So, how was your day today? How was your day today? That's it. Simple, right? Now, how do you make this conversation? Well, it's a back and forth in questioning. How was your day? Well, it was good. Why was it good? What happened that made it good? Or you can just say, why? I had a good day. Why? Well, because my boss stopped by and he told me I did a good job. Oh, that's nice. And what did you do? to earn a congratulation. Que metido, verdad? So now here's the thing. When you guys see these conversations and you, we've seen them for four modules, all of these conversations keep going with why or what. How did that make you feel? Why did you feel that way, right? So they continue with, with, with asking how and asking why, they asked where. These are important. These are important because they let the other person know that you care. When you guys are talking to your friends, so let's say right now, Valentine's just happened, right? Some of us had Valentine's dates, some of us didn't. Some of us took it really well, some of us maybe didn't, right? Maybe you were that friend that you were very strong and you had a friend that was, you know, not so strong. And they called you and said, Maje, Maje no want to stay Valentine's, Maje. Right? And what did you do? What do you do? What do you do with that friend? Well, there's two options, right? There's a really aggressive, right? Maje, calmate. I'm going to go pick you up. We're going to go drink. Ma, you're going to be okay. Ah, really aggressive. Really, we're going to kick it in the butt. But there's the other non-aggressive. There is the, hey, what happened? Let's talk about it. And why do you feel this way? Why? Why are you feeling this way? Why did you start crying? Why did you call him? You know, what happened? What, what made you call him? Ya habíamos hablado de esto, niña. ¿Por qué, por qué le volviste a hablar? Or guys, we do it all the time. You know, we try to act like it never happens, but it does. We we are 
We are like that, right? Hey, madre, le volví a hablar. ¿Y por qué? ¿Por qué le volviste a hablar? Ya, voy, voy para tu casa. Vamos a ir al chupadero. And, and we're going to drink, right? That's the very aggressive one. Actually, I think for us, it's only the aggressive one, right? That's it. There's, and then once we're there, then we start asking, my, why did you call? Why did you do that, man? I thought we had talked about this. I thought, you know, you know, a whole bunch of questions, right? So the conversation practice for tonight is to keep that conversation going by asking why, by asking what, where, by asking how, And you guys can say things like, how did that make you feel? How did that make you feel? Okay. Why did you feel that way? And this is very simple. I had a really bad day. Really? No way. Tell me, what happened? What happened? Why was your day so bad? And then I want you guys finish that conversation with, is there anything that I can help to make your day better? Right? That's what friends do. My, what can I do to help? Huh? Have you guys ever asked that? What, well, not maybe my, but what can I do to help? What can I do to help? That's how we usually ended up. Now, between us, how many of you guys ask a bunch of questions when your friend comes to you with problems? How many of you guys ask a lot of questions? I ask, right? I ask. When one of my friends, when one of my closest friends comes to me and says, hey, man, I'm having a really bad time, the first thing I ask is, is everything okay at home? Right, because it could be that. Yeah, everything's fine at home. Second question is, is everything okay at work? Right, because if everything is fine at home and everything is fine at work, what could it possibly be? Right, everything else, you're okay. It has, you know, we can fix it. Oh, they stole, they stole my cell phone. Oh, you know, that's okay. We can, we can replace that. Right. Toma el mío, toma este iPhone 10, no lo necesito, you, you can have it. Yeah, toma, teacher, uh, that's what happens. So I want you guys to think of it that way. I want you guys to think in terms of a conversation, ask and keep asking, how was your day? If it was good, I want you guys to ask why, what happened and who was involved. If it was bad, same thing. What, what happened? Why did it happen? Who was involved? And is there anything we can do to help? All right. Okay. So here we go. Jose, hello. Welcome, sir. This is what we're going to do. We're going to break you guys out into rooms. And we're going to do a small practice run now. Let me see how that turns out. There we go. I think we can do five. And then let me see who, who has a room. Rafael, I know that you ha you're having issues with you're having issues with let me see, let me recreate the rooms. Let me see here. All right. Rafael, we're gonna go, we're gonna go into a room because you're having the the issues with your audio. For everybody else, I think everybody should be okay. Please accept the invitation and here we go, guys. Raf, 
my friend. Can you hear me? I can I can hear you. I can hear you. It's it's a little bit choppy, but yes. Okay. I can hear you. I can hear you now. All right, Raf. Uh, let's let's. I I think what we were doing before kind of worked out for us. Yeah. All right. So this is this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask you the question that we've been working on in WhatsApp, and then you answer live. Okay. Well, let's let's try to uh, let's 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 see if we can, let's see if we can get it to work. All right, all right. So let's start off with you know the basics, basics, right? Why do you want to work here? How would you answer that, Raf? Why do you want to work here? I work. Because I consider Okay, all right. So here, Raf, whenever you get this question, Raf, can you hear me? Raf, Raf. I thought I lost you for a second. <laughs> okay, I think you didn't hear anything, right? <laughs> well, it was very, it was very choppy. Now, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what I did here, Raf. Okay. When you hear this question, try to make it shorter. Why do you okay. want to work here? And I want you to use really strong words. Uh, for example, strong work ethics. In other words, I am a hard worker, right? I want you to think about your previous experience okay and what you bring but it has to be shorter it has to be a quick and short answer why do you want to work here i want to work here because my work ethics would fit perfectly with how everybody here works i am a hard worker and i give 110 percent and I feel like this company that this company is gonna value that. E I E. Yes, too. Okay, that's really nice. All right. So think of it like that. You're a hard worker. You're very smart. Now you don't wanna you don't wanna tell people that you're very smart, right? But you want to say things like, "I feel like this company would benefit." So you could say it like that. With my skills. With my skills. You got it. There you go. Okay. All right. So I'll tell you what. Think about this question, and I'll come back in just one moment, okay? Sure. sure. All right. Hang tight, Rafael. Hang tight. Okay. It's near to my house. But sometimes I try to Santa Ana and San Salvador. It's I drive more in Santa Ana, so San Salvador is kind of not difficult, but I have to be more concentrated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because, because almost every everyone is like in a hurry. <laughs> and yeah. Then you, yes, you have to be pretty. I have some sleep. Yes. Yes. That will another make me one. recover from this feeling. Yes. I can't imagine uh, how you your feel your feel today. Hey, I drank uh, like uh, four bags with water. I don't know how to express that. Mm, my goodness. And uh, and uh, Happiness, I think you could say. 
And, um, no, okay. I mean, I had to drink that much water and I didn't have to go to the bathroom. It was all sweat. Oh, all right. Oh my God. Oh. All right. I, I thought it was, I thought it was just happiness. Good guys. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and how was your day? Okay. For a special date. But you deserve it, deserve it. Yeah, of course. It's necessary to get yes. relaxed. To get the time to, to feel a little bit relaxed. Of course. It's, it's nice and you enjoy a lot. I hate the beach. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I don't like it. It's very hot. He's in the top hill. I can I can hear I can hear you. Okay. Also, is down. Is down. Is down. Ah. Uh, and and alegría is in the top. Okay, yes, I, I remember that we um subir teacher. I I I remember to to up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could actually say that. We drove up. You can say we that drove up yes and up and up between the, the trees and okay, yes. That'll I work. Remember that. Now a lot of a lot of people make fun of you know how los hermanos lejanos when they come and they say voy a bajar para abajo <laughs> o voy a subir para arriba and, and and so everybody says oh we make we make fun of that because it it doesn't make any sense in Spanish right you're already saying that you're going up there's no need for you to say para arriba however in English it's used a lot I am going to drive down or I'm going to drive up. It's actually things that you can say. Okay. Yeah. If you're in a building, you're going to, in English, you say, I am going to go up to the next room. Or I am going to walk up the stairs to the next room. So if you translate it, it I voy a subir para arriba. And that's why people say it. Um, so in, in, in English, you know, it's it's it doesn't it doesn't sound as bad as it does in Spanish. So when you guys are talking about going to a place, you can say I am going. I drove up to the next pueblo, or I move, or I drove down to you know dr I drove down to the beach. Um, you could say I drove up to the beach, and and those are things that you can say. So si se puede decir así, Marisela. Okay. Okay. Teacher, and uh, acostumbrarse. Get used to. You can say get used to. Now, or now I'm, there. Yes, I'm getting I, used to. That's it. You got it. That's it. That's how you say it. I'm getting used I'm to. So it. smart. Now, Marisela, there's another one. There's another one that people say that they say custom, but it, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. Yeah, right. So uh, when you say that there's a custom, it's, it's like saying es algo que se hace siempre en ese lugar. So everybody does that in that place. So it's a custom, right? Okay. So it's a little bit it's, different. It's, it's, it's a little bit correcto, correcto. Mm -hmm. But you cannot use it in the same way that we use it in Spanish, right? Me estoy acostumbrando. You can't say it. You can't say it like that. You you won't be able to use it. You have to say I am getting used to, and then provide the specific action. I am okay. getting used to it, and then that that will usually work. Yeah. Me estoy acostumbrando. Okay. I'm getting used to it. All right. Good, everybody. Good. I get used to. Okay. That's correct. You can say know. it like that. Thank you. All right. Good. You okay. may, you may continue. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Good. Um...
is uh, speaking with them. Uh, it's very interesting to, to, to uh, speak with them and teaching all the subjects. Um, I like it. I like it. I, and you? Okay. Uh, to be honest, uh, I work with uh, another person. The most people are the most people are older because I work in a factory near to Ciudad Arce, especially in American Park. Raf, Raf, my friend, come in. Check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Raf, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I, I can I can hear you, but you sound a little bit far, but that's okay. I think I think we could do it. All right. Are you ready, Raf? All right, let's go. Why do you want to work here? Raf, Raf. I think I lost you there, buddy. Raf, Raf, come in, come in. Teacher. Oh my God. My I, I can hear you, I can hear you. No, it sounded really choppy. Hold on, hold on. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. As you are speaking it, are you, as you as you're telling me, type it. Type it in the in the in the chat. Don't worry. This is only okay. our chat. Here, let's do it like this. Let me. Okay. okay. All right. So same thing, right? Why do you want to work here? Raf. Yes, teacher. I can hear you now, man. <laughs> oh my let, god. Let me see what what did you let me see what did you type? Send it, send it. Okay. Uh, oh, I lost you, Raf. I lost you. <laughs> That's all right, man. That's all right. We'll figure it out. No worries, Raf. Raf. Yes, teacher. All right, let's. I'll tell you what. Let's let's keep trying. Let you know. Let's let's keep doing it like the way we've been doing it with what's up. Okay. All right, and then we'll try to practice again. 
All right, let me go ahead and close the room so that we can go back. Let's go see. Oh, there it is. A ver. So let me read it to you. I like to work for you because I'm an outstanding, committed, and really hardworking person who never surrenders. Mm. Let's 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 try let's try using another word for surrender. Hardworking person who is there's there's a different way that we can use surrender. The thing is that surrender is like if you're fighting with somebody, you know. Uh, I consider all those skills. Mm, outstanding, committed, and really hardworking person who never gives up. Or, or how about instead of surrenders or give up, who is goal? Who's goal oriented? We could do something like that. And I consider all those skills to be really useful for your company and would be and would make me an outstanding member. Would make me an outstanding member of this group or this company. You can say it like that. Porque acordate que that, that they're asking you what would you bring to here. So of this group or company. We can say it like that. All right. All right, we're closing down. Raf, I'll see you in the big room. I'll see you in the big room. No, this is this is the right one. Teacher, <laughs> microphone. Y, y gran conversación. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Mentiras, no hablo nada, absolutamente nada. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back. Hello. Okay. How did you guys feel about the questions? Great teacher. Okay. Who, what, when, why? Really, really strong words. And now, so this is what happens when you guys are having a conversation, a little conversation, right? How do you demonstrate interest? How do you tell somebody that you're interested without telling them that you're interested? By asking for more details. That's it. That's it. That's exactly why. That's why you will do it constantly. And that's the idea behind asking these questions. Even though they're really common, even though they're really easy, and in a conversation, it almost sounds like, ah, oh, you know, you don't really care. But when you're having these conversations, they really come in handy, right? Especially because people will talk about pretty much anything. Now, what you can do is you can direct the type of information that somebody's giving you, okay? So, for example, your best friend comes to you and he tells you que le robaron el celular. They stole, they stole my cell phone. They robbed me on the bus. And so usually what happens is that you want to tell a story and there's a lot of information that, that needs to be thrown out there, right? So first, have you guys ever had a friend tell you a story about them being robbed or something being uh, maybe not robbed, but they lost it somewhere? I am that friend. <laughs> oh, you are. All right. All right. All right. So so, you know, right. So um, I think in all my times in the bus, there was one time where they stole something from me, but it wasn't aggressive. I just didn't feel it, but I do remember what happened, right? So usually what happened, so what happened that day is I got to my work and I told my best friend, they stole from me. 
can you believe they stole from me? They stole, and I didn't even feel that I was, you know, that they stole my cell phone from me. Hey, Richard, that's the meaning of steal. Steal, yeah. Stealing. Do you know? Do you know how to call that if if a person hits you and then, um, I mean, steal your phone? Well, if they you... if they hit you, they call it a mugging. You mug. just got. Wow, uh, that is a verb. Mug. Uh, you when got mugged. Someone still with violence. That is correct. When you get mugged, they, they use violence on you. Okay. All right. So. I told my friend everything, right? And then my friend very calmly started asking me, what type of phone did you have? And I was like, does that even matter? You know? And he says, well, I want to know what's going on and I want to know what happened because obviously you are okay, right? If you're here and you look okay, then I'm going to assume that nothing happened. And, and you know, it kind of made sense. And he started asking me questions that would, that made a lot of sense. You know, what type of phone did you have? Um, how much did you pay for it? Was it expensive? Um, was it going to be easy to replace? Uh, did I have any pictures or videos in it? Uh, did I have any contact information? And, you know, all of the stuff that he was asking me made a lot of sense because it got me to think. Uh, there was a specific question that he asked me. He said, do you know the email number? I M E I, email number. Have you guys do you, have you guys ever asked or do you know your email number from your cell phones? It's too long for it's it's right. Memorize. That is but correct, you have, Mike. Have, you have to take note of it just in Wh case. Why? Why do they lost. tell you? Uh, because with that number, uh, companies can can block that phone that is correct they block the phone not only do they block the phone but they can erase the information that your phone has so if somebody tells you hey do you know your email number you should know it right but like max was saying it's very long so these are the type of questions and then you know my friend started telling me you know would it be easy for you to get another phone and i was like well no and then he said well what if i can help you i have a plan i can get you a phone on my plan and then you know you just make sure you pay for it and i was like well that's really nice you know that was really nice of you man um of course i didn't take it because i wasn't gonna pay you know i not you know you quedar mal so i said it's okay but but you know so now Basic questions, right? Who? Quien te robo? Who? We want to know who. Who was involved? What did they take? Did they only take like your cell phone and your wallet? Or did they take like chains and stuff like that or watches? When did it happen? Why do you think it happened to only you? Porque hay veces que el bus va lleno y solo le roban a una persona, right? So it makes you think, why did they steal from me? Now, all of these questions that we're asking, you should be asking them because you actually really want to know, right? Yo me pongo a pensar, I want to know because I don't want to get in the same bus. Hay muchas personas que te dicen, la 101D o la 52, la que va no sé qué para hoteles. All right, all right. So I always ask, where did they steal from you? Or oh, in the bus, what bus? Ah, oh, the 101D. Mm. Sí, es que la 101D, malísima. ¿Por dónde? Like, where did they take? Where did they stop the bus? And they, you know, where did they steal the stuff? And they would tell you, ah, oh, por la pirámide. Oh, yeah, that's where they do it. Mm -hmm. That's where they do it. So all of these little questions, I think, help in putting together the story, but the person who's sharing feels really good that you're asking these questions. Because the more questions you ask, it means that you care. Claro, no significa que en verdad you care, right? But in most of the cases, we do. And so that's why we're doing it. Now, when you're having a conversation, it usually works out the same way. I start off with asking you one question and then I answer and then you ask, ask me, why? Why do you feel that way? 
or who was involved in the situation. Tell me a little bit more about what happened. And so the person starts talking a little bit more. The more you talk, the more of a relationship you build with that person. So conversations are very important because of that. The conversation creates trust and trust creates a relationship. Always remember that. Always remember that. Uh -huh. Cuando vayamos a comer, ustedes van a ver que estoy va a hablar, va a hablar y preguntando cosas. ¿Qué, ¿Qué tal es el té? ¿Mm? ¿Está rico el té? ¿Está delicioso? No, está bien mal. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Mm? Cambialo. ¿Por qué no lo cambias? And then, you know, it's like the little things that, that like kind of drive you through that conversation about asking. So think about it next time, right? You guys are sitting down and you guys are having a conversation with somebody y se quedan callados los dos. No se queden callados. That's the worst thing you could do, right? Follow it up with a question. So how long have you been here? How? How long? Uh, how long have you been here? That's usually what I do in the bus. That's usually what I do at the bank. If you guys ever see me at the bank, I'm always talking to somebody. And I always start off with, how long have you been here? And they tell me 30 minutes. And oh, I hago los mates. Oh, my God. Uh, and then I start the conversation and I start that conversation going. So always remember, we're gonna keep practicing, we're gonna keep practicing these. We're gonna change it up a little bit. Tomorrow and Wednesday, uh, I think I'm gonna sit down with individuals and see how you guys interact. And then we're gonna go and see how you guys use the, you know, the questions. So hopefully we can get that going. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you guys back two minutes, three minutes of your time. Please don't forget your platform. Have a wonderful night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, teacher. Take Bye, care, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Nice Th teacher. Thank you, Madeline. Thank you. Okay. See you tomorrow if God wants. There we go. That's the way.